So the question is, if you're running a service business, should you display the prices for your services on your business website or should you hide it? Hello everyone, this is Max from Online Prospects. So today we're going to discuss this very interesting question. And the question is how to approach the dilemma of displaying your service prices on your website. And today we're just going to discuss how you can approach it. What do you do? Right? Because some business owners, service business owners, they think that they, they don't want to display the prices. They want people, they want potential clients to call them so they can discuss the project, discuss the service with them, and they can provide them with an accurate quote. And uh, they don't want to show the prices on the website because they think that if they show the prices, if they show the price on the website, firstly, the competitors will see the prices, so competitors can adjust. And uh, secondly, if the client, potential clients, see the price and will think that it's too high, they will never call, right? So they would prefer, they prefer people to call them and they... Uh, provide the price after talking to the client, after seeing them on site, etc. And maybe you are one of them because most, most business owners, most service business owners, they think exactly this way. And there is absolutely nothing wrong with this, right? It's absolutely nothing wrong with this. Don't get me wrong. It's totally legit reason not to display the prices. You want people to call you and then you will provide the price. But what I want to talk about today is just a little bit different approach. Uh, and it's especially valid for people who are advertising their businesses online. So if you advertise your business online and you get potential clients, to come to your website, this approach may work really, really well for you. So, so how it works? What we have to understand that people who are coming to your website, we can divide them into different categories, right? So some of them are hot leads. Hot leads are ready to buy now, right? So they're ready to buy now. You want to talk to them as soon as possible. If the price is right, they will buy. But you will also get people, you will also have people who are coming to your website who we can consider as warm leads. Worm leads are those people who are not ready to buy now. They're not even ready to talk to anybody yet. All they are doing, they're shopping around. They're trying to see what kind of prices, what kind of costs it will involve if they will decide to go ahead with the project. The good example will be something like bathroom renovation or some major renovation around the house, right? Because they know it's expensive. They are not ready yet, but they're shopping around, right? Because sometimes bathroom renovation decision, whether to renovate or not, can be like a six month time, right? But before they start, they start. They will start to shop around. So what they do, they search for bathroom renovation in your area. They come to the website. They are trying to see what kind of prices they should expect, right? And if you don't display your prices at all, most of the time, what will happen, they will just leave your website. So that's where the problem. You paid for this click, that you paid for that visit to your website, but they just left without giving you a call, without making an inquiry or anything. So what can you do about it? Well, one simple solution will be to do something like this. You put a big button uh, on your pages, uh, on the quote pages or any other page on the website that says download our price list or something like that. You know, download our prices, download our price list, etc. So when they click on this button, uh, you ask them to provide their name and the email address. Nothing else. No phone numbers, just the name, even just the first name and the email. So first name and email. And then you send them a basic price list for your services to that email. That price list can be just very simple. Something like our prices for bathroom renovation start from and or ensuite renovation, laundry renovation start from. You can provide some very basic prices and basic ideas. You can be more detailed. It's totally up to you. But the whole idea is to capture their contact details, to capture their name and capture their email address. Because what you can do afterwards, let's say in a week time, you want to contact them. You can set up an automatic email I know that Gmail has this function, or if you're using the CRM, like a software, you can set it up. So in a week time, they will receive an email from you saying, what do you think about the prices? Are you thinking about doing the service uh, sometime in the future? Do you want to maybe arrange the free on-site quote, etc.? But with this approach, the main benefit is that you will grab the details of the person who can be considered as a warm lead, right? So instead of just losing them, you can grab their details and you can start building up some connection with them, some trust, right? Because once you have the person first name and email, you can send the price list, you can send some other PDF with your reviews, maybe you can send them the link to your completed project, etc. So you can start building up some trust um, knowing their first name and email. I hope it makes sense, right? If you have any questions of how to set it up, uh, what's involved, etc., please leave a comment under this video and uh, we can discuss it a bit more so I can explain you and show you some particular examples how it can be done. But um, yeah, the purpose of this video is just to make you realize that instead of losing those warm leads that are coming to your website through your paid advertising, um, instead of just losing them, you can just set up the system where you can give them an idea about the price via email.
Now, if you found this video useful, please consider to subscribe to our channel. We provide a lot of information for the business owners, for the service business owners, how to get more leads, how to get more clients for the business. So it's definitely, definitely useful content for you. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, follow us, and we'll get back to you with more videos very, very soon. Thank you.